Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Almost 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in another um, Terror mission. This time, a demonic incursion with some nice little um, Nurgle demons. Alright, real space was ripped open like a rotten canvas, and the chaos beasts of the Immaterium marched forth. Enter the sky walkways of an imperial facility and curb the demonic incursion before nothing is left to save. Destroy all dimensional gateways. This looks bad. Our navigator has gone half mad from the warp anomalies. We've detected several warp rifts in the area. The veil between the real space and the immaterium is fading. We have to stop this madness. I will, I will, at least I will try, or, oh my god, the bad part is we only have five minutes for this mission, um, that is not very, very good, I think, because, um, it, I think, is mere impossible to make it in that time, but anyhow, I will do my best, um, maybe, that's the bad part if you don't completely read your tarot cards, um, or through them, and as you see, we have a time limit. I don't know whether the mission here, of course, already had a time limit before. I don't know. But that is where we will be good. Gives us a sense of, well, just do it and laugh for a bit. Come on, let's hurry up here. I want to make it actually. Although, um, it seems like the enemies are not the most powerful. That is good. And we are nearly at the first warp. I think that is, um, of course, the um, not so good part is if. I don't know how. I guess I don't, I don't know how randomly generated this mission is, but I think a tarot card, and I think I chose one which does, um, you know, give you a time limit, is not very really good to have in game because um, not every mission you can even make it through um, just walking to the right position because, as you see, we have to make a long way, and that ain't good. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but the <laughs> best part of the min the mission and um, the episode is only going to be five minutes long then, yay! No, we won't do a second mission, but um, I will go through turrets then, I guess, and do some wonderful stuff to our, you know, passive skills. We still have a little bit, which I haven't done completely now in the off, um, is passive skills, perks and upgrades for our constructs which I should go through very very soon and if this mission is really over in two and a half minutes then that of course is a thing I could do even though I know it's sad <laughs> to have a um, mission which is not that long anyhow at least we can try to uh, we will of course do our best right here the rift is sealed but our job isn't done yet I know, and I think in the remaining two minutes and twelve seconds, I think we um, we might be able to um, take down one more if we um, go through them like butter here, which we are currently doing. Then that might work out, but um, depending on what kind of enemies we are going to face here, that could be different, to say the least. So let's see. I don't even know whether the bar or the time timer there is actually really working as intended that is always the thing you need to keep in mind so the big enemies are down we have only smaller enemies remaining that is very very good one thing I really don't like um, in this game that was the addition of these little worms when you kill um, the reborn marauders because it takes so much effort to actually take them down um, I don't know whether that is because of their um, because of their HP or just of their armor but they are really really nasty to kill I think okay we are through and in one minute we know whether we um, are already um, done with this mission or not and we might as you see with the um, how long it takes to it from the from difficulty wise I think this mission is not the hardest but um, every small enemy you kill you know gives you not the edge but 
it makes um, you know every little enemy cost time, so to say, especially if you then face reborn marauders. And you already know they are going to spawn some little critters there, um, which again need time to take down. Um, it's not the, the uh, toxic entities they are called. It's not the greatest of feelings, to be completely honest. But I think um, if it really is that we in 15 seconds, 15 seconds are out of this mission, then we can at least go and do some upgrade stuff. Um, I think well invested uh, time as well. It's the only part. So. Failed. Okay, so um, it really were only five minutes. Okay, that's too bad. But in the end, sometimes that has happened. So, um, lesson learned for me: um, be more careful with those tarot cards and um, read completely through them. So we have a little bit of time then, <laughs> so to say. Let's um, take a look right here, and we have finished this one. Okay. Um. Okay, weirdly enough, we can't do anything right here right now. Okay, that's too bad. Um, um, fun fact, uh, there are a few connection problems here with the game. It took a it took ages to actually load it up. That was really, really hard. So, we are right here. Um, animation unlocks the heavy battle servitor charge. Um, movement speed for constructs. What else do we hear? Attack range. That ain't that bad. As well. Unlocks the explode skill. Unlocks the air assault skill for vivisectors. Okay, that ain't bad, I think. Movement speed. Um, unlocks the um, electromancer. Okay, why not? Why not go there? Okay, that was, um, well, that was quick, I can only say. We still, I think, okay, we have still a few points available right here. So, three um, plus five to all resists, that is not that bad. Critical hit chance, and gain per data flock spent, that ain't, so I, okay, now that we have that, I go a little bit into logic. And now we are right here. Um, rewards on next level. Okay, that is not important. That's the just the increaser. Oh man, that guy looks absolutely amazing in the armor. Very, very nice. Heroic deeds. Okay, that is not so important, I think. These perks. Ah, yes, I wanted to go into perks. That is, I think, very, very important. Import, importing, important as well to go through them so to say um so currently we are um, damage posing um, damage bonus for each existing um construct i think very, very important health um regeneration and when the construct takes damage you heal for one percent of maximum health that ain't that bad okay um castellan robots i think are the big ones aren't they so that would only um include them and so i think that um if you have uh, oh. if you have a Kesselang and um, tower type at the same time that we don't have melee damage. So uh, one critical hit chance. Your teleport in blah. That is not important. I think movement speed. That is not so important. Reserve costs. Okay. Damage per second while standing still. Nah, take less damage, range damage, so not really the ideal ones. Anyhow, but guys, that leads us right now to the end of this episode. In the next one, we will go on with the autos, I hope. And I will be a little bit more intelligent with the... I don't know why we can't go in there right now. But anyhow, we will try that out. But for now, guys, I... Um, really? Ah, okay, I don't have available missions anymore. Okay, then we probably won't do anything here. Guys, for now, I 
really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.